Cardi B's WAP is considered to be a cultural phenomenon and is described by mass media as empowering and sex positive. However, when one understands the meaning behind the symbolism of the video, WAP takes a dark meaning that is at the exact opposite of empowerment. It doesn't take a rap historian to know that WAP is not the first raunchy song in rap history. Over 30 years ago, two live crew released the highly explicit single, Me So Horny, which became a massive hit with teens across America. Soon after, major controversy ensued, and, for the first time ever, a US district court judge ruled this recording obscene. The album was banned from sale in Florida, and a lengthy legal battle ensued over the song's lyrics. The decision to ban the album was later overturned on appeal. This final ruling, which was upheld by the US Supreme Court, was deemed as a victory for free speech. In the following years, the rap world saw a constant flow of raunchy songs, many of which were performed by female rappers. And nobody really batted an eye. Fast forward in 2020. WAP is unleashed onto the world. And everybody loses their minds. And, because it is 2020, people found a way to make this song about moist female genitals political and divisive. On one side, mass media gushed over the song, pun intended, with unlimited praise. Complex magazine called the song the epitome of female empowerment, while the Los Angeles Times wrote that the song carries a political weight that men rapping about sex doesn't. Not to be beaten in this golden shower of praise, the New York Times claimed that the song is an event record that transcends the event itself. Wow, that's a lot of praise for a song called WAP. On the other hand, some public figures frowned heavily on the song. James P. Bradley, a health industry executive who is running for a California congressional seat, wrote that Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion are what happens when children are raised without God and without a strong father figure, adding that the song made him want to pour holy water in his ears. Tucker Carlson criticized the song on his talk show, Tucker Carlson Tonight, saying that it's aimed at young American girls, maybe your girls, your granddaughters and what is it doing to them? Can you imagine what it's doing to them? The people pushing it clearly are trying to hurt your children. Comedian Russell Brand posted a video on social media entitled WAP Feminist Masterpiece or Porn, in which he discussed whether or not the song and the video were truly empowering to women. He asked if feminism means to achieve equality by aspiring to and replicating the values that have been established by males. He called the song a sort of capitalist objectification and commodification of, in this case, the female. In short, lots of big words were thrown around to analyze a song that is called, once again, WAP. However, it appears that nobody actually sat down, intently watched the video, and took the time to decipher what it truly means. Visual arts are based on symbolism. And symbols have the power to convey profound meanings that go beyond the limitations of words. Because, beyond the butts and the breasts, there's a lot of symbolism going on in the video. And that symbolism is telling a story so vivid that it renders all the debate described above useless. The video is about slavery. It is about mind control. It is about sexual exploitation for the elite. It's all there, but conveyed through symbolism. Despite the apparent similarities between two, Live Crew's Me So Horny and Cardi B's WAP, there's a major, all-important difference between the two. Two Live Crew was a group of teenagers, signed to an independent label with a small budget. Cardi B is a major, global artist, signed with Atlantic Records with a near-unlimited budget. In other words, she is being pushed by the occult elite. And, as seen in countless videos on this channel, the occult elite permeates the work of its pawns, with a specific set of symbols that tell a specific story. The video of WAP is glaring proof of this. It basically sums up, in the most blatant manner possible, one of the occult elite's most horrific obsessions. Just watch the video and come back here again to continue this discussion. Thank you for coming back. I promise, this will be interesting. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. Thank you. The video begins with ornate gates opening, as the viewers enter the premises of a lavish mansion. Those who own this house are rich and elite connected. The customers are elite connected as well because they get access to actual expensive celebrities. This actually happens in real life. Then there's this fountain. Cardi B and Megan the Stallion mirroring each other with tongue sticking out and water coming out of their breasts. There's a lot going on here. First, that statue is lactating which appears to be a reference to the fact that Cardi B is a mother. 
despite this fact, she's being whored out. It is almost as if they're ridiculing the sacredness of motherhood. The physical features of the fountain, including the tongue sticking out, appears to be inspired by classic depictions of the Hindu goddess, Kali. This is clay effigies of Kali at the Kaliya temple in India. The occult elite loves to use Hindu deities in symbolic scenarios. In the context of WAP, there is something extremely symbolic about a major music industry star being associated with Kali and the forces it represents. While the origins and the spiritual meaning of Kali are extremely complex, she is mostly known for her wrathful bloodlust and her unbridled sexuality. Kali is the quintessential embodiment of Shakti, female power. She emerges as an independent goddess around 1000 BCE and evolves as a controversial character. She is a scary, bloodthirsty embodiment of destruction and the ultimate protector against evil. She is spiritual and bodily, erotic and sexual and as such, courageous. In the tantric cults that revolve around her, eroticism is primarily a way of confronting one's deepest fears. This picture shows a classic depiction of Kali standing on her husband Shiva while holding the severed head of a demon. Well, the worship of Kali was never really popular because people were terrified of her wrath, some tantric sects and secret societies pandered to Kali's characteristics by engaging in sexual rituals and human sacrifices. More recently, Kali has been celebrated as a feminist icon. In the 20th and 21st centuries, many Western feminist scholars have adopted Kali as a mascot of female empowerment or have politicized her as a symbol of the supposed former matriarchal golden age that came before our present state of patriarchal control and decline. New Age tantric practitioners adapt her obvious sexual manifestations as a therapeutic tool, while Hollywood employs her as a convenient symbol of malevolence. But Kali, the true Kali, will continue to defy all attempts to tame and domesticate her, as she has since the beginning of time. In short, Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion are associated with the goddess Kali, who is a lustful yet destructive goddess, while also being an icon for modern feminists. However, there's a major difference between Cardi B and Kali B. Kali is an unrestrained force of nature that transcends the material world, and Cardi B is a slave horse stuck inside a house. Back to the video. After passing through the symbolic fountain, we enter the house. Then the beat begins, coupled with a looping sample that goes. There's some whores in this house. Then the whores come out. After witnessing this sequence of events, it is rather difficult to reconcile the supposed empowering message of the song with what actually happens on screen. I mean, the beat repeatedly calls Cardi B and Stallion whores. And the usage of this word is rather off-putting. I kind of get how the word bitch was reappropriated to signify a fierce yet unapologetic woman. Kind of. But the word whore is different. It has an ancient and visceral feel to it. It's powerful in its own right. For centuries, it was meant to denigrate prostitutes and immoral women, and it goes all the way back to the biblical whore of Babylon. Calling someone a bitch is one thing, but a whore. That's like a serious insult that reverberates through the centuries. Anyways, so these two whores are walking around the house. And, as we see the symbolism around them, we understand that they're not regular whores. They're sex slaves, meant to service the occult elite. As explained in my previous video about monarch mind control, there are several types of MK programming. The main ones are theta programming, special agents and programmed assassins, and beta programming, sex slaves used in elite circles. The video explains. Beta is referred to as sexual programming, or slaves. This programming eliminates all earned moral convictions and stimulates the primitive instinct, devoid of inhibitions. Cat alters may come out at this level. Known as kitten programming, it is the most visible kind of programming as some female celebrities, models, actresses, and singers have been subjected to this kind of programming. In popular culture, clothing with feline prints often denotes kitten programming. The WAP video is exactly about this, right down to the overload of feline prints. In the video, Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, and all of the other guests in the video play the role of beta slaves, servicing elite customers. To confirm this fact, the video is replete with symbolism that directly alludes to monarch programming. The hallways of the mansion are twisted, which allude to the fluid and ever-shifting mental state of a dissociated MK slave, whose internal world is controlled by the handler. Also, the dualistic floor pattern is extremely important in monarch programming. It can be seen, in various forms, throughout the video. In occult circles, dualistic floors are ritualistic surfaces on which occult transformation occurs. In the twisted world of mind control, rituals, dissociation, and programming heavily involve the use of dualistic patterns. At one point, the video goes down to some kind of engine room, which is also drenched in dualistic patterns. 
In the back, we see gears that control the mechanisms of the house. The same way an MK handler controls the mechanisms of an MK slave's brain. This is a painting titled, Symbolic or What, by Kim Noble, a survivor of monarch mind control. The painting depicts girls holding their genitals as a snake slithers on a dualistic floor. It represents the abuse of MK slaves at the hands of sadistic handlers to cause trauma and dissociation. Other than dualistic floors, snakes can also be seen throughout the WAP video. And they symbolize the same thing. This picture shows objects in the house start moving. We see the world through the eyes of a dissociated MK slave. In the video, snake symbolize the male organ. Cardi herself says. Not a garden snake, I need a king cobra. If snakes represent penises, then this scene represents Cardi and Megan getting rammed by a bunch of dudes. Elite dudes. Empowering. Through symbolism, the video indicates that the whores in this house are not regular whores, they're beta kitten slaves. The house is full of tigers and other felines. These animals represent human beta kittens. Feline prints everywhere. Cardi B's hair is shaped like chain links. She's a slave. Other than Cardi and Megan, the video features several other slaves. This picture shows Killy Jenner walks on the dualistic floor in full beta kitten uniform. Some people wondered why Killy even appeared in this video. Some even requested a removal, because she's not black, people know how to get upset about the wrong things. She's there, because she couldn't be a better representative of the elite's beta kitten system. This is a picture taken behind the scenes. As Killy gets ready to play the role of a beta kitten, servicing men in a whorehouse, her mother is in the background filming her. How creepy is that? I guess Canny was right by claiming that Kris Jenner has been pimping her daughters for years. Other than Killy, the video features several other industry up-and-comers playing the role of whores. This picture shows Normani, an ex-member of Fifth Harmony, in a dualistic room with a matching dualistic outfit. This is new industry pawn, Rosalia, in a blood-red room. The Masonic checkerboard pattern floor indicates that there might be some bloody, ritualistic stuff going on there. The video features other up-and-comers such as Mulatto, Sukahana, and Ruby Rose. The message is, they're industry prospects that might be willing to do what needs to be done to be recruited by the industry. To new viewers of this channel, the interpretation might sound far-fetched. However, as one watched the hundreds of videos on this channel analyzing things, one realizes that this exact pattern of symbols is constantly used in the same exact context. These symbols mean something very specific to those in the know. When one understands the not-so-subtle symbolism in WAP, it is rather difficult to understand the feminist and sex-positive praise it has been receiving. Because it is about the exact opposite. It is about slavery and the worst kind of slavery possible. It is about women that are drugged, traumatized, and dissociated out of their minds, and who are forced to pleasure sadistic men, day in and day out. Cardi B rapping lines, such as I want to gag, I want to choke, might sound empowering to some. However, considering the visual context of the video, she's basically a slave who tells her customers what they want to hear. Because, in the end, that's exactly what she is. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.